Guys, the chickens here back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we are going to be maxing out our rocket launchers. But, guys, first make sure that you got the code chicken or somebody's code. Uh, just hit the uh, screen there. Or somebody's code plugged it in the shop. And, uh, yeah, so let's take a look over here. We're going to go to uh, some more ships. And as we can see, <clears throat> we got rocket launchers at level 12. I got to collect one chest to get them to maxed out. And then we're going to talk about the rest from there. But first, let's get us some max rocket launchers. All right, so that obviously didn't go as planned. It never does. Um, but so here's where we're at. We got 225. They got us in 231. And we got 23. They got us 228. So that's on the chicken as far as that goes. But here we go, guys. So now we're going to be able to max out our rocket launchers. Also, we're going to be able to unlock mortars and beef these little dudes up. Look at that. Look at that. We got all the mortars, which is great. That All that all we needed uh, those guys to do is simply um, is simply just take up space. So we just we just want mortars simply to take up space and, um, you know, do a little bit more damage to Seekers. But for the most part, just slow down uh, bombers or slow down any other troop coming in. So we're going to uh, update our base. All right, so here we go. Now we got the max rockets. This is the max rocket launcher base. Now I also unlocked a shock blaster previously. So uh, let's talk about the tech tree for a sec. <clears throat> now, essentially, what we want to do next, we want to max those mortars out, and then we just want to push. We we've essentially got everything that we need to go to six engines. So from here on out, we're just going to max out what we've got, make that push to six, and then hopefully that's going to be enough. So uh, yeah. Let's just see where we're at uh, uh, with this in terms of matchmaking. I feel like now we're going to see a lot of max rocket launcher, but it's okay because we got uh, we got the two to be able to compete. So let's just see. We'll we'll just do kind of a live look of how this ends up working out. This guy does not have rocket launcher, so we should be at an advantage, technically speaking. Now you see what I do there. I throw out one boat of riflemen to take the first shot, and then the rest are just simply bombardiers. Um, all right, so let's go. Hmm, this one's tough. So he's got those two shocks in the back, which might cause some issues because there's a lot of mines. So what I'm actually going to do right here, I'm going to take out this launcher, and I'm going to use the rest, the, the rest of barrage on some mines that are going to get very annoying. Basically, the mines that are going to clear like loads of riflemen. We're going to take those right out of the picture. Let's do that. We might even find a sneak shock mine behind that sniper tower. No, it's not there today, but that's okay. All right, so from here... We're just going to allow them to clear. And the most important thing about using this strategy is to uh, flare them to spaces. So we don't want them to stay. <clears throat> I don't want them to stay all grouped up and tight. I don't need uh, 3, 6, 9, 12. I don't need 15 bombardiers shooting at one defense. I need 7 bombardiers all spread out across the field shooting at different things. That flare didn't do it for us, but uh, we'll see what happens here anyways. Oh my god, that was a nasty shock. That probably just cost us the match right there, that shock alone. Ah, but let's see what happens. Maybe he'll fizzle. We do have the max rockets. We'll see if that does provide us any sort of boost. I got these bombers kind of naked on the left over here, but I think that's going to be okay as we kind of make our way up on the right side. Let's see how this is going to play out. I'm going to keep shocking this boom cannon and all this stuff over here. Eventually, we will get to a point where we can use second wind right about now. And, okay, let's go ahead and clear across this side. There we go. Okay, we don't need to use any more GBE. I think we just flare simply on the last one. And look at the time difference. Look at the time difference on uh, on defense. That's huge. Because we were basically getting the same times on offense. Uh, but having that little cushion from the max rocket launchers, it looks like that's going to be able to push us forward. We'll see. We'll see. 159. Yes, that's what we like to see. That's going to push us back into diamond and put us towards that rank, uh, that next rank chest. We got to go. We got to go. So we'll just uh, we'll just push it right now. But we got the uh, well, we got the max rockets. We got the max mortars. I mean, we're in a pretty good position right now to push, honestly. Um, you know, unless we go up against guys that have this guy's got a little bit more tech, but for the most part, we're a maxed. Um, you know, we, we don't have some of the multi-nodes and we don't have the extra GBE. 
Uh, that's something that it doesn't show you how much GBE the opponent has. So we could be at a bit of a disadvantage here, but it doesn't look too, too bad. So for running bombardiers and rifles, here's what we want to do. Uh, I definitely want to take out this rocket on this side. And then I think I'm actually going to take down this one next. Two barrage will clear them, no problem. And yeah, so I do that because the other ones, yeah, they're going to be an issue, but um, we'll be able to just simply free clear them as we walk up towards the base. So they're not going to be as, you know, as big of a deal. They'll take down some riflemen, but by the time we have second wins, etc., uh, we'll be able to deal with those by the time we get there. Hopefully, anyways, let's see what happens. I mean, this guy's got everything uh, that we've got, and it looks like the only difference is he's got the max mortars. He's got boom mines, he's got max rockets, he's got, ma uh, well, he's got two shocks. I don't know if they're max. It doesn't make a huge difference, um, but that is something that we want to do as well. Oh, we want to max out those shock launchers at some point, but uh, but yeah, guys, if you are struggling this season in warships, make sure that you join up the Discord. Uh, a lot of the info and tips I have got this season have simply come straight from there, so uh, that is in the video description on every single video. Let's get a second winter going. Um, now, I don't know if it's going to be worth it to do a split flare or if some of the bombers can go over the right. Now, <clears throat> when you look at doing a split flare... Obviously, the first thing you got to know is if your troops are going to go to the right or not. Uh, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to simply just move them a little bit to one side. That should be enough to get most of them to go to the... Or, or to get some of them to go to the right, at least. Hopefully not all of them. Okay, I got some going left, some going right. But there's nothing on the right side that is going to target them. Either way, we've got a pretty slow time here. I would not be surprised we lose this. But uh, let's see what happens. I don't need to shock the shock. We're good there. We just need to take down that engine over there on the right. Then we can start to flare this one here. I'm going to shock the boom can here because we are running a little bit low on bombers. Look at this time, guys. This is crazy. Okay, I'm going to use barrage there. I feel like we got enough bombers left that we're just worried about damage. Nothing else. And boom. 143. Let's see if that's enough to hold us up. Uh, let's see if our defense is enough stacked up. 143. Yes, there we go. There we go. So, max rockets are definitely key. I mean, look at these defense times. 140, 153. My off, my attacks were honestly worse than, like, I mean, look at these attacks over here. Um, yeah. So, that's definitely just simply a, a, a defensive boost. That's, you know, there's no other reason for that. So, hopefully, we can make, uh, make some of the most of that. Now, um, the prototype, the prototype, right? Uh, a lot of guys were using Sky Shield. Now, it depends what you're getting hit with. If you're getting hit with Seekers, then yes, Sky Shield is going to be the answer. But if you're not getting hit with Seekers, if you're getting hit with Bombardiers, then the Shock Blaster is going to be the answer for sure. I'm actually going to take out the Shock Blaster here. Um, I was kind of going back and forth on what to do there, but... Oh, man. Uh, what I'll do is I'll... I'll Throw up the brush here because we only one missile to hit the shock blaster, so I'll clear some of those mines. Uh, and then from here, we're just going to use barrage if we need it to clear mines. Barrage for clearing mines is always great. That's not, you know, if, if you're stuck and it's a weird base and you don't know what to do, just clear mines with barrage and you'll probably be in a pretty decent position. But um, yeah, we're not using barrage in engine rooms. We're using barrage to either clear max rockets, clear shock launchers, or to clear prototypes. Uh, some of these bases that you see that have a uh, sky shield, it's not usually a pretty good option to just take that out with uh, with barrage if you're using bombardiers or you know if you're using seekers, work your way towards it. Okay, let's go. How do we want to do this, chicken? Uh, okay, we're gonna shock shock. That should allow us to clear most of that stuff with the bombers we have over there. And I'm going to shock over here next. Clip that boom cannon and that rocket. And I think that's what we want to do. That's what we want to do one more time. Maybe not, actually. Okay, boom. Uh, we're getting, we're cutting this a little close. Now, I always fa flare the, uh, the farthest away engine from the bombers. 
Because we far, if we flare the, the one that's closest away, look when we go to flare this one. They simply just turn and shoot, right? I messed up my barrage there. But <clears throat> it's, it's always a little bit faster to flare the one that's farther away, keep them walking. And then when they can flare the, the last engine, they can just simply turn, right? Because that's where they waste all their time is when they're walking. That's how it's all wasted. So, uh, yeah, man, there we go. That's another win. That's three wins in a row. So, guys, I hope that helps you out. That is what, uh, that's what we're doing today. And we're going to keep pushing, hopefully get to uh, 22, but we'll see what happens. Guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap it up for the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Check it out. Back, back. <laughs>